Patient's in her mid-20s, she's 5'1", 127, BMI 23, no children. We're gonna be performing a 360 lipo fat transfer to the buttock. She wants to be as curvy as possible, have some nice projection, but always keeping it natural. 360 lipo fat transfer, we're gonna bring in her waist area as much as we can. This is gonna come in. I'm gonna build up her thighs. We're gonna go from a square to more of an hourglass shape. 360 lipo fat transfer, recall normal BMI. We're gonna lipo from here to here. We're gonna bring in the waist as much as we can. Very commonly asked question, patients ask, What's the ideal BMI? BMI is not a perfect measurement because it doesn't account muscle mass, but for the average person with average muscle mass, I would say a normal BMI are usually the best candidates. 360 lipo fat transfer, you can see we thinned out the waist as much as we can. Super, super thin pinch. That's the pinch less than a centimeter. I transferred about 1200 cc's of fat to the buttock. She's got a really nice curve. 360 lipo fat transfer, normal BMI. You can see we brought in the waist super super thin pinch i really really thinned her out her tissues just allowed me to and i gave her some nice curves great result on this patient who's in her 20s 360 fat transfer patient was in her mid-20s normal bmi and we did a 360 fat transfer i took out just around five liters of fat because she has a normal bmi she'll be going home it was a little bit under five liters and uh, we injected about 1200 cc's of fat per buttock which is about average Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop us a comment, give us a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.